and welcome to my channel where we live, love, learn, and love. Kariboni Sana. Oh my goodness, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is a Thursday, February the 16th. It's currently 8.37 a.m. in the morning. And as you can see, I am on the road. <laughs> Imagine, I'm on vacation, but still, I am up this early. Who does this? Anyway, guys, I'm currently right now, I'm on the way to... I'm on my way to Chelmsford. Um, I'm going to the DCF offices. And I am going there to meet with my son. I'm supposed to meet with them at... Um, 9 a.m. So yeah, and then uh, I'm supposed to visit with him also for an hour. So yeah, that's where I'm headed. And I have no idea if my mom is already there because I don't know. I believe she was working overnight yesterday, and this morning I did not call her to um to confirm if she's going to be joining me. But yeah, that's where I am headed. <laughs> <laughs> and then from there I'm just going to go to Kunaitwaze from there I'm just going to go to the gym get my workout done get my workout in and then from there I will pass by the library oh my god yesterday evening by there I didn't even make it to the library <laughs> the massage that I got guys oh my god I went to the mall yesterday I went to the massage parlor and i did get a back well i did a table massage a table massage is more like a full body massage so i got that done and then from there i went um to the spa there's a nail a nail salon or rather a nail spa located downstairs at the um, pheasant lane mall in nashua so i just went there i got my pedicure done and oh my god guys i was right my problem was circulation. You see how I've been able to wake up today. I'm in good energy. I've been, I'm feeling amazing. As in, I was having a problem with my circulation. And um, for some reason, I don't know why, but if I don't scrub my feet, like if I don't use the stone to scrub my feet often, I usually end up with like blood circulation issues, you know? So I usually go to, what I end up doing is I normally end up going to the spa and getting a pedicure done so at least that way i can get the um, i can i can use the paraffin wax and that kind of gets rid of you know most of the dead skin or all of the dead skin and i'm telling you yesterday even the lady was like oh my god because yesterday i didn't well i knew i needed i needed that but because I went to a different a different place, you know, they, they usually package their services differently. So the package that she showed me was the one for like hot stones, where they use the hot stones. So I was like, you know what, um, because I didn't see the paraffin works, I just said, okay, fine, I'll go with that one because at least I know the hot stones also help. They help to um, to increase uh, blood circulation on your, on your feet and also on your legs. So that's the one I chose. But as she was doing my, my feet, she, she realized, she was like, oh my God, you need the paraffin wax. Like you have so much dead skin, the hot stones is not going to be enough. So yeah, she, so now that's how she ended up showing me now the other package that they had, which I had missed. And I got the paraffin wax done and I feel so good. As in, I just went back home yesterday evening. Actually from, from there, I went for a walk. I went to the those who live in law you know the boulevard so i just went to the boulevard um i did my normal evening walk i mean the the weather was nice it wasn't that bad although by then because i went there like around five right before it started getting dark so it was a bit breezy and then also because it's next to the water uh yeah it was kind of like a bit cold but the weather wasn't that bad so i went for a walk and then i just went home i had dinner i took a shower I watched um, a little bit of TV and then I I passed out. By 11 p.m., <laughs> I was out. And this morning, I've woken up feeling so good. You know, I feel I feel great. You know, my energy is back. And um, I, my feet are also not dragging. You know, I don't feel like I'm dragging myself, you know. So, yeah, I just needed to exfoliate my feet and get my circulation going. 
and um also detoxify as well so yeah anyway guys um enough about that so currently i am headed to the dcf offices and um i decided why not i might as well show you um you know the a video of it and so you can also be familiar with how the process goes and um yeah just in case you you're out there and you're in my position or you ever find yourself in my position <laughs> then yeah this is how um things usually go so come with me let's go um let's go see my son and then from there i'll go to the gym and then i'll pass by the library and then i might also go for a walk later on today because the weather is very very nice so but because i'm also feeling energetic i need to go work out so anyway guys come with me and um yeah spend the day with me at least see how <laughs> my day is going to go sawa sawa let's go wish i could get through it don't know what i do to you anything i say will come off as wrong and you're not alone something feels out of place but you have no tell it's like we want the same thing but the lines we've drawn are too parallel i can't sleep when you're not talking to me got me suffering in silence can't breathe when you're not So here I have arrived. I am inside. I have just decided to take the steps instead of um waiting for the elevator. <laughs> so this is the door where you open to get to the door before you get into the <laughs> waiting area to get into the rooms. So the other door that you have seen behind me leads um upstairs to where their offices are. I mean their cubicles now. Um so now I'm in the waiting area. This is where you sit and wait for um for them to come, the social workers or you know the children. Um these are the bathrooms, they are unisex and those are the rooms down there. Those are the visiting rooms. And um this is a cop station. There's a police officer sometimes who sits there for um families or kids who needs um police yeah. supervision. Oh, there goes my son. Hi. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's so excited. Hi. Oh boy. Simba. Come. Hey, hey, young man. Young man. Young man. Come, baba. Come. No, 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 don't sit there. Come. I'll show you where we're going to sit. I'll show you where we'll sit and look at Siri. Huh? Yeah. I'll show you. Hello? Yeah. Not that way though. Come. Go get it. Here. Me I wanted you to play with this one. I wanted you to play with this one. Hmm? 
Which one? No, don't close the door. Come, let's go. Let's go. This is not our place. Let's go to the other one where Shosho is. Oh, careful. No, she's not there. Let's go down this way. We go down this way. Huh? Oh, they changed this room. Your favorite room. <laughs> uh oh, where do they take everything? They took it out. Yeah? No, this is for attorneys only. Come, let's go. Let's go to the other room where we were. No, not there. Baba, come. Let's go. Let's go find Shosho. Let's go find Shosho. Yeah, let's go find her. We left her over there. Let's go look for her where we left her. Yeah. We left Shosho there. Come, let's go find her. You want to take that one? Okay, then take it. Take it, we go. Careful, watch your head. Yeah. Yeah, come we go. Come we go to Shosho. She has Siri. Come, let's go look for Siri. Huh? Come, let's go look for Siri. You want to take that one? Okay, take that one. Huh? Come we go. Come, let's go. Huh? Come, let's go. You want to take that one? Huh? Which one is that one? Good job. Which one is that one? That's a lion. Say lion. <laughs> yeah, lion. And what's that? Say crocodile. Crocodile. That's a crocodile. That's a giraffe. What else are you bringing? An elephant and a zebra. You're bringing an elephant and a zebra. Yeah, but you have to turn it the other way. Huh? Yeah, like that. Come, let's take the puzzle. You don't want the ball? I'll leave the ball. Huh? I'll leave the ball. It looks like you don't want it. Let's take the puzzle. Come, I'll carry the puzzle. We go. Uh oh. Sorry. Huh? Come, I'll take it. Let's go get Siri. So guys, I am done. I have just come from the DCF offices. Now I am on my way to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's been um i've been there it's now currently 10 41 a.m um i've been there for like an hour and 40 minutes now and um, left onto the us3 north rail yeah so man as in i'll just be glad the day all of this will come to an end as in man it has been a very long trying period for me because it's not easy, you know, it's not easy going through childbirth, you know, bringing In forth a quarter mile, life to into US this Kingdom. world. And then somebody else just comes and pretty much threatens to take that away from you, you know. It's, it's tough. It's really tough. And it was just, it was the other day when I was thinking about it and I'm like, man, you know, how, how have I been coping? this whole time because you know sometimes when you're in the fire you don't see you know you don't see what is happening and um guys just give me a second <laughs> i'm making sure i'm headed in the right direction because i'm following my gps here so um yeah i was just thinking the Keep other day and i'm like wow you know I've never really asked myself how everything has made me feel, 
you know and continue for half a mile i don't know because when you know when everything started you know at first i just you know to get In through it mile, take exit 81a i just kind of i just kind of blocked it out of my mind because i was like you know if i keep thinking about it then i am not going to be able to carry on forward and so i just kind of blocked everything out of my mind and um take so the other day that's when i started now you know opening myself to that to that um veil which i decided to put um in order to just be able Continue to cope for half a mile the way it is and um yeah it hasn't been easy it's still not easy you know um being a mother you know it's different it's it's different because now that i'm a parent you know i'm i'm more connected to my child not just physically but even spiritually in a quarter mile merge on i-495 so north when someone comes in and threatens to take that away from you i i i'm at a loss of words actually you know it let me just not even continue with this topic right now because <laughs> I don't know. I'm still processing things in my mind. I'm still processing things in my heart. And then I am also driving and trying to keep up with this GPS. So <laughs> let me not um, proceed further so that I don't end up saying um, probably what I'm not supposed to say. Or I end up sharing my thoughts, you know, which are not supposed to be shared. So yeah, for now, I'll just, I'll not continue with this topic. But yeah that's the question i asked myself the other day how do i feel about everything you know how has everything made me feel and um currently that's where i'm at i am still processing <laughs> everything but um anyway guys right now i am on my way to the gym and i'm going to a different gym because after that after the gym there's a store i want to go and look for i don't know if that store is still there but it's in a, a town called north andover and it's a town i mean it's a store that sells um things to do with photography you know backdrops and things like that so i've decided i'm going to pass by there and see if i can be able to get a backdrop you know something that i can be able to you know put in the house at least that i can be able to use when i'm recording you know in the house and stuff because um yeah sometimes you know <laughs> i was trying to look for a good um a good spot you know that i can i can be doing more videos when i'm in the house but um yeah i didn't quite find one because um the spots that are in the house that i can use either there's you know there's one that's next to the heater the heating system where there's so much noise so sound of course will be affected and then also um the other spot that i found what was wrong with it oh yeah it's too dark that corner is too dark so either i'll have to add more lighting and i don't want to have to buy another lampshade because that will just be overcrowding the space so it's either i do that or i just get a backdrop which i can you know put at you know put on a different section of the house and use it to record um videos when i'm in the house at least you know to improve to improve um the quality of my videos <laughs> okay so you know nekogeria you know these things i'm still trying i'm still experimenting you know to see what exactly fits where so that at least um i can be able to have to have a good um to have a quality channel you know i can be able to bring you quality videos and you know eventually just grow with the process because i'm still looking for a place i still haven't moved out of the house um where i'm staying where i'm being hosted so i'm still slowly looking for a place as well but um until then i just have to make do what i have and a backdrop is what i need <laughs> so once i come from the gym i'll pass by the store if the store is still open i will show you guys how the store looks like inside and then from there 
um, the video will come to an end you know I just wanted to show you a little bit of how you know the DCF uh, department looks like if you've never been there and um, I wasn't able to take a video of like all the rooms um, that's what I wanted to do but my son was so energetic as you've seen <laughs> he was running all over the place going from one room to another and yeah and then eventually he got a hold of my phone and he was you know he was watching his videos on this phone so I couldn't take it away from him you know to record and show you but um, with time eventually the next time I come there I, I might show you how the rooms look like inside so at least you can have an idea of you know if you ever find yourself in this situation or you're curious about how the situation goes um, those rooms are usually set up for visitations so for parents who visit their kids at the facility they have special rooms for that and then also they have attorneys rooms you know if you have to meet with your attorney or um, you have to meet with a social worker they have specific or rather designated um, rooms for that so hopefully next time I'll be able to show you and um, yeah like I said we're on this journey together I made the decision to open my life to you so I might as well keep it um, 100 and just be real and that way somebody can be able to learn from my experience and we can grow together in this journey sour sour so anyway guys I'll cut this video here because now I'm on the highway and I am close to where I'm going I'm like 10 minutes away so let me just get there and then um, I'll show you a little bit of how In the gym miles, looks like because it's a new right gym that I'm going to. to 46 from Massachusetts to and then, from yeah, from there I'll pass by the store. I'll show you how the store looks like and then this video will come to an end. Sour, sour. Let's do this. So guys, I have arrived. I'm at the loop in Methuen. Remember the last time I was telling you guys I was looking for a Planet Fitness? Well, the Planet Fitness shifted from the place where I was looking for it and it came here. And I knew, I knew it had moved. Or rather, I knew there was a Planet Fitness here, but I didn't think it was the same one. I thought it was, I thought there were two. There was this one and that one which was, you know, at the old location. But I found out they actually moved and this is the place where they're located. And this is how I'm dressed, guys. Yeah, I'm just wearing my my tights, my gym tights, my gym shoes, and yeah, and uh oh, my son put some cream on me. He was eating cupcakes, so I mean, paka paka cream kila mahali. So yeah, anyway, guys, I have arrived, and uh, this is the place. So I can just go ahead and go in. And um, get my workout going for the day. And then from there, I'll just go straight to to the library. And we can call it a day. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So, oh my God, there's a person reversing and they're not even looking where they are going. Our Nioni. So anyway, guys, let's go in. So this is how the parking lot of the plaza looks like. It's a very, very big plaza. It's known as the Loop. And um, there are so many stores around here. Actually, if I was to show you guys this place, I'll probably have to dedicate a day just to be here so I can show you all the stores. But this is where the Planet Fitness is. And um, this is the entrance. So let's go in.
Hi guys. <laughs> oh my god, it's night time. I know the last time we saw each other was during the day at the gym, but man, I told you guys I was going to go to the store to look for a backdrop, but after the gym, the weather was so nice today. You know, it doesn't really happen a lot. <laughs> it's not that often here in Boston or the New England area we have good good um weather, especially, you know, during winter. So today it was nice it was 60 degrees it wasn't that cold it was a little breezy so i decided i was like you know what let me just go to let me go to the park and go for a walk at least just take this moment you know to soak in the nice you know the nice weather and also use that time to think you know just clear my mind you know put my thoughts together as i was telling you guys earlier on i'm still processing everything um, that has been going on with my son and with the custody case and you know it's 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 been a journey and i'm i'm praying i'm praying for courage right now to be able to share with you the entire process you know from from start um or rather from the beginning up to where i'm at right now so that from this point forth i can at least carry on with you guys and um you know up to the end and i'm just praying for the best outcome right now and so for that i decided you know what because the weather is good let me just go take a walk um take advantage of this um amazing day <laughs> and just um you know think things through and clear my mind and ah, um find a solution find a solution and above all find peace and also find hope and i'm praying for my vision to become even much more clearer um you know as time goes by so anyway with that said guys i was not able to go to that store so after that i just drove straight um back to law and then i went to the park i was at the boulevard and um yeah i just went for a walk after my walk i went home i took a shower i ate some food i have already had my dinner because I don't like eating after 6 p.m. Yeah, but um, lately when I'm at work, I've realized I don't eat during the day. Then by the time I get home, it's after 8 p.m. in the night. And then I eat. And before you know it, I'm in bed. And yeah, that kind of slows my metabolism. <laughs> That's also something else that can make you start feeling lazy. Because, you know, you're supposed to give your body time to digest the food. You know, you just don't eat and then fall asleep right away it doesn't help with um digestion so um yeah for that reason i usually try to have my dinner at least by 6 p.m latest 8 p.m and if i have my dinner at 8 p.m i usually try my very best to stay awake until at least around midnight so that way my system has enough time to process the food so anyway guys um right now i'm currently at the at the library I have come to finish my, not even finish rather, just to work on a few of my assignments. And I've decided to come to the public library because I am more familiar with this library and I'm not planning on spending so much time here. I only want to take about two hours of which the library is even closing. They close at 8.45. So right now it's currently 6.53 p.m. So in the next hour and... 35 40 minutes give or take the library will be closing so that's ample time for me to um go through my assignments and at least get things in order so that um tomorrow i can pick up from where i've left off and um by saturday i can be able to complete both my projects turn them in and then sunday have a restful sunday and uh put myself back together on monday and then on tuesday i'll be back to work so guys i'm just gonna end this video here um i'll just show you as i go into the library but um for today this video will come to an end um thank you so much for watching please remember to click um click the subscription uh button below drop any comments um any feedback like the video share the video and again to, um together let's grow and build better leaders for tomorrow sawa sawa until the next video guys be safe you're smarter than you think braver than you are and remember that god loves you sawa sawa 
have a good night guys i love you all take care bye bye mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> I'm not